Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Today is something that I haven't did in a while, but I thought it would be fun to do. So, you guys know I collect both silicone babies and reborn babies. I also paint most of my babies. Most of my babies are painted by me probably like, probably like me. 85% of my my personal my personal collection is painted by me. Um so all right. So each one of these babies have a story. Um I don't know exactly how long I've been painting silicone, but I know it's been at least three years. Yes, it's been at least three years because Phoebe is two years old and Kason was painted before her and he is three years old so that gives <laughs> that's how I kind of keep track of it and then there was a big there were two babies before Kaysen uh, within close proximity so somewhere close to three years I am self-taught I have never taken a tutorial on painting silicone um, or reborn and really I did follow up with reborn and I did follow along with the bountiful baby Denise Pratt uh, DVD that's given in the starter box uh, thing and I do recommend that one actually it is pretty good I don't think you're less of an artist or you know less good if you take a tutorial I think we can always learn from other people and pick and choose what we want to take from other people so I definitely recommend like silicone classes and stuff like that if if you really want to pursue painting for yourself um this is not a promotion and I'm not definitely not connected to any of these people because half of them probably don't even like me I shouldn't say that but but it's true but um I do um, know that uh, what is Susan Gibbs does silicone painting class. I don't know who else. I know Kathy Eklund did a class here not too long ago. I don't know who else is doing like silicone painting classes at the moment. But anyway, uh, just in case you guys were out there looking, it's a uh, it's a lot of reborn tutorials. I don't know who actually do actual classes. I'm sure at doll shows they have them and all that and stuff and rooting too. But anyway, <laughs> back to the video for my battery go dead. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys the scope names really quickly from left to right. And then I'm going to tell you guys a little brief story about them. So we have Willow Asleep by Claire Teller. We have uh, Everett by Donna by Don Donafreo. We have Willow Awake by Claire Teller. We have um, Rosan, a Rosen by Jamie Lynn Powers. And we have Kit <laughs> by Jennifer Sussman Price with Silicone Studio. All right. So let's start with Ooh, the oldest is Phoebe, so let's focus on Phoebe. So Phoebe is this one here, right there. All right, so Phoebe, um, she is probably the only baby in this group that her color skin tone was somewhat intent, intended to be in this range. I didn't know it was gonna be, how it was gonna turn out after matting, but this is kind of like the direction I was trying to make it go. So that's that. <laughs> um, she is a forever baby for me and she's definitely like out of all of them, she is the one baby that I know for sure no matter what happens, she will stay in my collection. All right, so um, who's next? Uh, so I guess we will go with Jaden. So Jaden's story is quite funny. Um, and quite different actually. So Jaden, I did want to give Jaden some color. However, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pick his color. His color picked him. This is what happened and it's no joke. I accidentally let some, um, like a color of brownish color on while I was doing skin tone on him. And it was like a dark 
it was kind of thick. It was like where I kind of like just like dropped some of the silicone on him and didn't like blend it or smooth it out or spread it out or anything like that. And I honestly panicked and said, oh my God, I've already ruined him pretty much. Um, and so as I started painting, I said, well, I'll have to at least try to bring him up to that color. I don't know, is it, it doesn't even, it doesn't even show because of his modeling and it kind of, I was trying to see if you, if it, you can't, I can't see where it was, but he, it was on his leg. And so that's why Jaden is the skin tone he is because I had to bring his color up to the point where that paint didn't stand out that I that I dropped on him and it wasn't that big it was like you know maybe I don't know it was bigger than a hairline but it was just like a little thin little line but it just it would have stood out so that's how Jaden became his color Vegas <laughs> Vegas oh gosh so Vegas so I okay here's the story long story short when I made Kaysen um, case of mom contacted me and um, she said, would you paint my willow for me? And I was like, oh, heck no. Like, <laughs> I was like, dude, that's a like, dude, that is like almost a $3,000 blank kit. Like, I've only painted two other silicones. She's like, oh, you can do it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know about this one. And so I said, I don't think I can do it. She said, I trust you. I said, yeah, until it's messed up. She was like, uh. You won't mess up. I'm like, but what if I do? She's like, then you just do. Because I said it was okay. I was like, okay. I was like, well, let me think about this. It took me about two weeks to say yes. And I know a lot of people kind of like hate me for that. And they think I'm a snob or something. Or like I'm always wanting people to chase me for my babies. It's my insecurity, guys. It's not that I'm arrogant. It's very opposite. I'm very insecure. I'm scared. I'm an emotional painter. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway I was like so I said yes anyway when Kaysen was done I fell in love with Kaysen very emotional connection to him literally bonded with this lady's baby and I can't explain it but he's always been the one <laughs> So I literally like joked with her and said I would send you Noah just to keep him and, and it was just like I was half-heartedly joking <laughs> and I definitely knew my work didn't have the value of Claire Teller's work of course but I just loved I loved him I don't know it was something about him anyway so when I finally got a hold of begging and chasing and following and you know harassing my friends that have blank willows that's sitting is another friend out here that has one and she's not painting it she needs to send it to me <laughs> but anyway um so i finally got a hold of another willow like two years later whatever the case may be maybe i don't know how long two three years later and here comes this baby and i'm like i want him to be like casein well where he may kind of look like he could be in Kaysen's skin tone range. If I was to bring Kaysen here and put him side by him, they are absolutely totally different. So that his color was not intentional. I do love him. Um, I do actually love, you know, him. He's very highly detailed and he's beautiful, but he did not turn out to be Kaysen. <laughs> I mean, if you hear a little bit of disappointment, it was because I'm like, come on, how hard is it to be able to match light skin? Like, you know, a, a biracial, light biracial color. Like, come on. <sighs> Apparently, it was hard because I failed. But anyway, I still love him. And that is my Vegas. All right. So moving along to Kit. So Kit is very special to me. Hence why her picture is on the wall. Let me see if I can show you guys that. So her picture is on the wall in the nursery. Um, she's very special to me because I don't I don't like to talk about you know my a lot of my behind the scenes business transactions and stuff like that. But 
it turned out that I was given the opportunity to prototype her as an AA version of this kit. And um, I don't know, like, you know, you work with so many people in this community and some people are just a fresher breath air to work with and some people can be like very cold or just business. And some people could be, you know, nice, but, you know, nothing to, 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 to go bragging about. Or some people could be very crappy to deal with. And I've had a lot of rough experiences lately. But when I work with Jennifer, or Kathy for that matter, they're very helpful. They're very kind. Um, I hope they never change. But for now, my experience just has been very great. So when it came to this... You know, Jennifer said, I would love to see this kit in, you know, like AA skin tone. I really, really honestly wanted to do her in a darker brown skin tone. But, of course, I got scared. And also, I was like, oh, I like her right here where she's at. And I was like, I don't know if she's dark enough. I don't know. I don't know. But she's definitely an AA skin tone. She's just not brown like I wanted her to be. It's so funny because I thought... <laughs> I really honestly thought that she was going to be Oakland color. And I don't know if y'all remember my baby Oakland. She was a bigger cuddle baby, uh, which is the Oakley sculpt by uh, um, Jennifer. I think Jennifer sculpted that one by Jennifer from Silicone Studio. And that baby got brown, got some brownish to her. And they looked almost the same before matting. And I was like, okay, so she's going to be at least that skin tone. So, okay, I can stop now. No, she was not. Like, she was, like, this color that I've... If you look at my, my, my babies, they kind of have somewhat of a trend. India really look India. Like, she look Indian. Like, she, no, she look India. She looks like an India. Because she has this unique skin tone that is, like, I've never done. I do know what color. There's one color that I used on her. And I said, when I used that color, and I said... Oh my God, I gotta be crazy. I hope I haven't ruined this baby. But I think that made the difference in her. So I don't know, I may try it again at a later date. But anyway, I do love her. I do love each and every one of them. I do have another cuddle baby, but I didn't put it on the panel because I am in the process of rooting him or her and that one is gonna be up for sale. So it won't be a part of my collection. So I didn't wanna put it up here. And I also have a full body, guys, that I actually, um, matting today and so um, well I've been matting this one and I think I'm at the last phase of matting so I will be able to do a reveal of this full body but it's not gonna be a keep one that I'm gonna keep I I hope not because initially I wanted to keep this baby right now I want to keep this baby but I know that I can't afford to and I'm, I'm seriously freaking out because I have babies in my collection and I'm like, why don't I just sell these babies? You know what I mean? Like, just sell these and keep, keep her. But, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we don't want to talk about that right now. So this is my babies. This is my silicone babies. I And, and here's the other thing where I like to think that I can paint a wide range, a variety of skin tones in both my vinyl babies and my silicone babies, which I think is something that is because from when I was collecting, I was always drawn to artists that could paint in range and could paint like light, white, black, Chinese, Japanese, Puerto Rican, Filipino, Mexican, whatever, Indian, Italian. Okay, let me stop. But you get it. Like, they could paint all different kinds of colored skin tones, so I would be drawn to that. So I was like, that was my whole thing. Like, when I started painting vinyl, every baby was just a challenge to paint them in a different skin tone. Never was it, you know, about the small details or anything. I think my first year or two of painting Reborns was all about me trying to perfect skin tones and then I am actually and that's why I still feel like I'm I still say I'm new I'm actually just now starting really like I think last year really trying to work on more details into my reborns um contrary to how I speak about customs 
I think a few of my customs have pushed me to do more with my babies because of the mommies. Like, I really would love to have a lot of motley or I like to have this or that. And I'm like, I don't know that I can do this. And they're like, just try it, da da da. And it's pushed me to try and it came out and then I was like, okay, let me, I could try it again and I could try to perfect it and stuff. So I, I am thankful to my customers for that. I give them full credit of that because sometimes customers ask for things that don't interest me. Um, and, but then after I do it, I really like it and I try to incorporate it some way in other babies. Um, what else? Yeah, so... I think that, you know, I hope that I continue to grow in this hobby. I do definitely like just painting for myself. Um, I love painting for other people and when they love it and when they're happy about the baby and stuff like that. I hate the selling process. I hate try having to price my work. I hate, you know, that part of it. Um... I don't, I'm not good at box packing. So where I'm an emotional person, I'm not a very, <laughs> I don't know how to put this without sounding crazy. Like I'm not a, like a, I'm a giver, but I'm not like one of those people that want to go all out. I'm not fancy. I'm not like, oh, let me put this fancy ribbon, these bowls. And I guess that's why like, I don't care as much about box openers. I just want them clean and just have something unique to the baby, I guess. If you're, you know, if it's a lot of money, you know, or if it's from overseas, I want something that I can't get here, you know, that type thing. But otherwise, just send me the baby. A nice blanket protected, long as the paint ain't getting scratched or nothing like that. I'm actually good. You know, keep the dog hair, the cat hair, the human hair, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, keep that stuff to yourself and just send me the baby. I'm okay. But, um, yeah, so hopefully I continue to grow. Um, I don't know, uh, as I always say, I don't know what direction I'm going to go into. I don't know if I'm just going to eventually one day say, you know, I'm just going to paint for myself. Or if I will continue to paint for everyone. But I just thought this would be a great video. I will see if I can put my reborns together like this. Oh, I don't know. Because... Half of my babies are big now, I think. I don't know. I don't have that many, actually. Actually, I don't have that many Reborns. I only have, that I painted, I only have three Reborns that I painted, I think, in my collection right now. So, anyway, let me, guys, let me know what you think. And, of course, I know, I kind of know in the back of my head which skin tone you guys are going to say, yeah. Oh, like the most. I'm not going to even ask you guys that. But if you feel lonelyish and you want to say in the comments, I can, comments, I guess you could say which one is your favorite skin tone. But I kind of already know, and I you guys suck because you guys know I am not capable of doing it that often. So I'm gonna try. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm. I, Every time I think I'm going to build up my courage to do it, I, I just can't. Oh, I got to fall track real quick. What I was going to say about, although I think I could do all these different skin tones, I have been realizing that I think my skin tone, well, I guess when I'm looking at them, though, all together, their skin tones are, each one of them is very different, actually, in person. But I think I do play around with the same colors. So, like... What I'm saying is, is like, um, well, I guess it's not true. Anyway, I gotta go. My battery's about to go dead. I was gonna say, when I think they look close in colors, when I put them side by side, they're really not. So, anyway, bye-bye.